Okay, so it's near the end of May 2020 when I'm recording this. So I wanted to do a few different like reading challenges or whatever under that umbrella. And so I found book jar um, challenge from gather together gather to get the read.com and so gather to get the read.com if I remember I'll put the link to this challenge or at least her website um, in the description so basically you're putting all the books you want to read this year into a jar um, Right now I don't have a jar, I'm putting it in this Calabri bag, so, but a number of them are books, like um, e-books, some of them are physical books, basically you're like once a month or however many times you want, you draw, um, like during that month, draw a book and read that one. Now, um, she does put, I'm assuming she, um, say that um, you're allowed, like when you pull, if you don't want to read that one, you're allowed like three pulls. Um, like if you don't want to read that one, at the moment or like if you haven't got it from your library or your digital or the digital database connected to your um, library so if the book hasn't come yet or like if you're in the mood like so you're allowed three like polls and everything and yeah so So you just, um, which is like, and so once you've read anything, you like sign up. I haven't gotten anything as of yet from her about it. Um, but I want to give it a shot video wise. Instead of putting it, I might actually put it on my blog as well. Um, but yeah. Like, so if I want to read something that isn't from my Nat Galley <laughs> to read list, um, I'm going to pull it from my little sock bag and give it a go. I do have a series in here, so I might, um, well, the rest of the series, books four to seven. Um, it's the Hangman's Daughter series by... Oliver Pox. Um, so if I get a later one, I might do that three draw thing. Um, but yeah, happy readings.